we believe that um, on the basis that we do not have any further outbreaks of COVID, that we'll have a strong second half and 2022, we believe we can grow the country's economy up to about 10%, mm-hmm. in which we'll be able to put, um, you know, all the people back to work and to even create jobs for our school leavers. Uh, so, you know, again, you know, we're not perfect, but I think based on the tools that we had available and the resources that we did reasonably well, just like other Caribbean countries, you know, as we said to them, uh, you know, given a grant of $1,500 a month, you know, it's not a stimulus, you know, it's a grant. And um, because, you know, when the country is closed and so on, you have our political detractors um, calling on us to give $1,500 or 2000 a month to individuals. Uh, there's nothing to stimulate because most businesses were closed. And in any case, when you look at our limited resources, we could not have sustained such a policy. I mean, if we were to give, um, what, $1,500 to probably 4,000 people uh, uh, from March 13th of last year to date, we would have probably... Um, you know, we, we, we would have um, had to raise an additional $100 million. I mean, so that would have been cost prohibitive.